Uh, good evening. I'm uh, Kwame Anthony Appiah. I'm president of the Penn American Center. As I'm sure... <laughs> Thank you. As I'm sure you all know, we're one of the 141 centers of International Penn, which is the world's oldest human rights and international literary organization, founded in 1921 to promote understanding across the nations. Penn American Center works within the rest of the Penn family to advance literature and to defend free expression here and around the globe. And nothing could more fully embody the spirit of Penn than an international literary festival. So as the MC says in Cabaret, Willkommen, Bienvenue, Welcome. And let me add Aquaba, which is welcome in my father's language, or Shanty Tree. I'm delighted to be here to welcome you to one of the more than 60 events of this fifth Penn World Voices Festival. Conceived, chaired, and inspired by Salman Rushdie, and uh, brilliantly uh, curated uh, by Carol Llewellyn. And let me parenthetically thank Salman for his five years of service so far, and for agreeing to continue to serve Penn and the literary community in this way. Our festival includes 160 writers from more than 40 countries. In the program, I count writers and translators working in and out of Arabic, Asante Tree, Basque, Catalan, Chinese, Danish, Dutch, German, Greek, Hebrew, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Haitian Creole, Hungarian, Norwegian, Polish, Russian, Swedish, and Turkish, as well as in the many forms of language we call English, French, and Spanish. And this year, we're joined by an Australian graphic novelist, Sean Tan, who's found a way to create great prize-winning fiction with no words at all in any language. It takes a lot of people and a lot of supporters to make this magnificent series of events happen, but I want to offer very special thanks in particular to the Penguin Group and to its chairman and CEO, John Makinson, who are our major sponsors this year. We're grateful, too, to all the other sponsors whose names you'll find in the program. And as always, we owe a great debt of gratitude to a splendid team of volunteers who helped to keep the program moving. There are many too many events, as I said, for me to tell you about all of them. Uh, there are copies of the program available here, and you can also find all the information you need at www.pen.org backslash world voices. But I do want to say that I'll be back here myself on Sunday to introduce the fourth annual Arthur Miller Freedom to Write lecture by uh, Noel El Sadawi, who, as you know, is a great Egyptian writer and activist and one of the leading cultural and political voices of our times. But that's more than enough for me, because right now I'm standing between you and the chance to hear an amazing international assortment of globally acclaimed writers who'll be reading to us in their own languages. Uh, and don't worry if you're not sufficiently multilingual to understand them, because you'll be able to follow along uh, with the English translations on the screens. Uh, afterwards, uh, there'll be a chance for you to uh, get books signed by them uh, outside, and uh, they will be telling you who they are uh, before they speak, and their biographies are in your program. So welcome, then, all of you, and enjoy this opening course of our literary feast. Welcome. <laughs> 